So there's no hard and fast rule that you have to use heat shrink terminals on your wiring on your boat, but we all know that they help prevent failure and corrosion. Stick around and we'll show you how to install them. Now a regular terminal can be used anywhere where water isn't going to get. But if it's wet, you'll want to use a heat shrink terminal. It's lined and when you melt it down, it seals out the water. Before you get started, you're going to need to gather some tools. You'll need a wire crimper, a pair of wire strippers like this one, wire cutters, heat shrink tube terminals, and of course, a blowtorch. Okay folks, first things first. First thing you'll want to do is have a look at the side of your jacket on the wire. It'll tell you what size the wire is. Heat shrink terminals and any other electrical terminals are color coded. Our wire is 18 American wire gauge, so we're going to use the red fittings that are marked for that size. The next step is going to be stripping the wire from the jacket. You can use a handy tool like this, which does it in one clean swipe. After you've stripped the jacket back from the wire, give it a few good twists and then install your wire terminal. The next step is to take your crimper, insert the fitting, and squeeze until it lets go. That's a good solid double crimp. So once you have your fitting installed, you'll apply heat. And you'll want to keep it fairly far away and rotate your fitting until it's all the way shrunk down onto the wire. Once you've let the fitting cool for about two or three minutes, it's ready to go back in the boat. Upgrading any wired areas that are exposed to water on your boat with these watertight fittings is a great way to ensure a trouble-free system.